What is up guys, Coley K Proximity here bringing you a brand new video today. I'm so excited to talk about this. Um, if you guys haven't heard, the HCS settings for the summer season have been announced and there are some big changes coming to the competitive scene in Halo. Some stuff that I'm so excited for, stuff I've been wanting for a very long time in Halo 5. Uh, right now, if you look at this gameplay, sorry it's only 720, 30 FPS, but it is a uh, highlight for my stream. The other day on stream, I played uh, eights with some viewers and we played no radar, no autos. Uh, this is no radar, which is actually not part of the new settings. Um, the new Proving Grounds radar is going to be in it, but nonetheless, this is the closest thing I had to the gameplay that is uh, going to be similar to what we're going to be seeing coming up. Basically, there's no auto starts, and yes, ARs have been removed from competitive. I am so excited. This is going to be Magnum only start, and there's going to be stuff on the map to pick up, of course, like BRs and stuff like that, but there's not going to be ARs off the start, and I'm so excited for this. Uh, I just, I, I can't wait. I've been wanting to have this for a long time. If you guys know my channel and you watch me and you've been here before, you know that my mag the Magnum is the f is my favorite weapon of the game. So I'm really excited to see uh, more gameplay uh, push towards that type of meta where when you get, you know, in gunfights, it's going to be decided more on who's able to hit more accurate shots, not who had their AR out and who didn't. Um, and that's, that's part of the things I'm super excited for. Other things, they're removing the splinter grenades, they're removing... Um, the Brute Plasma, the Sword on Truth, a couple other things. Uh, I'll have the article linked down below if you want to check out all the changes. Uh, it's just, this is this is super exciting for me. It's going to be a huge, fresh change of the game. Um, I've been really not having too much fun with Halo as a reason, being completely honest, because of just it's really stale, and I don't, I'm not, I just, I've been really getting frustrated by getting killed by autos, and uh, yeah, this, this is just the best news that I could have asked for. Uh, it is Proving Grounds Radar, which I just, um, I think, um, with the removal autos, I think will actually be really, really good. I think with the autos in it, I had, I had a lot of problems with it, but now that the autos are gone, I think it's going to be pretty sweet. So it's going to uh, encourage a lot of awareness plays. The skill gap is going to increase dramatically, I believe. And uh, yeah, but you, you can't be too quick because if you try to sprint and use armor abilities, it'll show up on radar. Um, either way, I'm just, I'm so excited. I, I can't, I can't begin to tell you guys, like the, the close range meta that was in Halo 5, where people would constantly try to position themselves to get in people's face and constantly try to get super close up is no longer going to be a thing. And I think that's amazing because that was never really a thing in older Halos. You didn't ever prefer to be in people's face trying to fight them. Uh, but with the autos, that was a big part of the meta, and I don't really like that. I like having nice mid-range fights uh, to long-range fights. Um, I normally take those battles if you watch me play. Uh, I play very, very... Uh, I just I just try to try to focus on my own shot, be accurate as, as accurate as possible, and that wins me a lot of gunfights. And that's where I you know that's not the case in Halo Five because a lot of times uh, when you get to those you know close range, even just mid range, people will pull out their AR and make it close range because they'll use the thrust to get in your face, and it becomes very difficult to hit your shots with precision weapons. But that's gonna be gone. It's gonna be taken care of. I'm so excited. Uh, anyways, yeah. So in this gameplay, you can even notice where I'm playing right now that uh, I use a lot of. I get away in a lot of situations where I get the kill because it's harder to get the kill without that AR. You can see situations that I probably normally would have died, but I end up living and or just winning a clutch gunfight because the shots are a lot harder to hit when using precision weapons. So it's going to be something to adjust to for all of us, uh, but I'm super excited and I'm just looking forward to grinding when they update the game with the new settings and yeah, what do you guys think? This is purely for competitive. I want to say that one more time just so you guys are aware. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I know a lot of you guys have been saying you don't want the ARs removed, but they're not removing it completely just for the competitive settings. Uh, so I think that's brilliant. I can't wait to see how it goes. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to let the rest of this gameplay play through. Um, I am talking to chat in the middle of it, so you might not have too much context, but I um, mean, yeah, if you, you don't have to stick around if you don't want to. If you want to, though, enjoy the rest of the gameplay, guys. Uh, some people in my chat were arguing with me about the settings. So I think I was kind of going back and forth with them. Either way, thank you guys for listening. Let me know what you guys think. I'm excited. I'll, see you, I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, this, this game's playing really nice so far, man. What am I crouching for? I don't need to. I can just fly in here. I'm literally trying to make a crouch play to kill this guy there, Jen, like, for no reason. Make your magnum. Thank you. Oh my god, I almost choked that kill. Defend our carrier. 
What a weird gunfight. I cannot believe I won that. Let's go, baby. I can be so much harder to kill with no radar. This is amazing. See, he would have known I was coming there. That guy would have been able to completely avoid the situation with radar. death i have two deaths <laughs> can't really compare i disagree you do you know like yeah it's not a it's not a complete comparison but you can definitely understand things like like if you have like a level of awareness where you know where people are on the map you can understand like like, like, see, I, I know people are over here. That's why I came back over here. But, like, I wouldn't have known that without my radar anyways. And I think that's, like, a common misconception people have. Is that, like, oh, with your radar, you know where everybody is. Like, no, you, you have very limited field of view with that. I knew people were my VAT because, I, like, I have awareness and I know where people are. Just the way the map's playing and I know spawns. So, like, I know where people are. I don't know right now that our BR zone, they're going to be spawning over here. See? Like that that's like awareness that I have that people love to be like, oh people are like no like it's not because like I don't know. I, I feel like people like to write people off be like, oh you're trash without without radar, but like you can you can know how the game's gonna be, you can know where people are gonna be without radar. It's not you don't have to have radar. Radar only only uh like inspires those stupid shitty plays where people are like real close to you. And then they just play with their AR out, and they just like literally gun you down. But like with a level of awareness, you can you know where people are, and you don't you don't need to have a radar. 